guys, what's going on? I wanted to take a quick second and show you how to turn this into this. It's a cool way to seal up a bow. It requires buying something that's a little bit awkward to buy, but I think it's well worth it. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to do it. So similar to any other painting project, we're going to sand first and it's up to you you know how smooth you want everything to be um i tend not to care all that much <laughs> especially if it's a bow i'm not uh giving to somebody it's gonna be for me but all this stuff even the adhesive wrap we can sand that down as smooth as we want and it's just gonna be a lot easier to conceal it make it flush and then one thing we definitely want to pay attention to is if we have any hard edges on this bamboo, we're definitely going to soften those edges by kind of sanding at an angle. And basically, I'm just trying to take all the tool marks off. Not complicated, but can be time consuming depending on how much effort you want to put into it. I'm going to sand all these connections, make this as smooth as I possibly can. So once we got that all smooth and ready to accept our paint, I want to stain these and, and show that wood grain off of the sea. So I'm just going to take some masking tape and block the wood section off right at this transition. Just repeat that process for the other side. So the first thing we're going to do is start with a base coat of, you know, whatever color we want the majority of the bow to look like. In my case, I'm going to use brown. Um, but the secret to that cool pattern is some fishnet stockings and they come in all kinds of different shapes, I guess. Uh, what I mean by that is like styles. And I thought this one looked pretty cool cause it's got like random dots and things like that. So we'll see what this looks like. Uh, but yeah, I got this at Walmart. I got some weird looks ringing out, but Hey man. So I want the majority of my bow to appear this brown color, but I'm going to use some of this red for just a, a little bit of make it pop a little bit, kind of try to get that snakeskin look. So on the front of my bow, not the belly, but the back, I'm going to lay this coat down first. And then once that's dry, I'm going to put on the fishnet stocking. Not me, I'm going to put it on the bow. <laughs> Once that's dry to the touch, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of hold this up and, and hit this backside with the brown. Just so that it's all kind of dry at the same time before I do the pantyhose bit. I'm going to put the fishnet stockings on, stretch it out, get it tight, clamp it with some clothespins, get it where I want it, and then I'm going to coat the whole bow in brown. Once that's dry I'll carefully remove the pantyhose and we should have a pretty cool looking bow that's going to be sealed and protected from the moisture. Once this is done drying all I'm going to do is I want to throw a little bit different color on the wooden sias so I removed the masking tape and I'm just going to throw some stain on the sias. Well here she is all finished up dried I'll throw a string on her and do some shooting but this is actually an uh, advanced kit bow um, that we make in one of our two-day classes if you're interested in learning more about that check out americansurvivalco.com and uh, you can get more info up there you can also find info on meadlongbows.com as well until the next video guys take it easy